Nope. This is on me today, okay? I'm a working man, so. Thank you, man. I'm proud of you. So I guess this means you can lend the old man a couple bucks? Sure, what for? Well, I, I just had some minor losses at the track last week, but I'm gonna win it back, really. It's, it's not a problem. Does mom know that you're gambling again? Oh, come on. I'm not hurting anybody here, okay? It was a landmark ruling. Big decision from the Supreme Court, striking down a federal law that basically banned most states from allowing betting on sports. In 2018, the Supreme Court lifted the federal ban on sports gambling. Since then, 22 states have legalized sports betting, while another 25 states have pending legislation. Pretty soon, many Americans will be able to place a wager without leaving their state. And that includes the nearly 10 million people struggling with a gambling habit before the ban was lifted. You won't be able to get a seat in a Gambler's Anonymous room because what happens is people that never would gamble sports illegally are now gambling on sports. I don't mind helping you out, but you kind of have a history. But I've got it under control. No, you don't, Dad. I'm afraid you have a gambling addiction. You're at a restaurant when you overhear this father gambling with his family's trust. Do you go all in and back the son, or do you bet that the father will figure it out? What would you do? I do not have a gambling problem. I can stop anytime I want. You've been saying that for years. Here we go. Our hidden cameras are rolling at the Royal Coach Diner. So let's get to the reason that I brought you here. These first customers listen in as Josh lays it all on the line. I was sort of in a situation um, at the tracks last weekend. Uh, Does mom know that you're gambling again? I don't again? see any reason to bring her into this. I think you're making a big deal. You're addicted. I'm not addicted. At odds with Dylan over his habit, our dad tries to find support. Uh, do you think gambling addiction is like a real thing? Yes. Yes, it is easy. I get that. And, and that's not me. Dad, I wouldn't be comfortable giving you the money. It's not a big deal. You're blowing this way out of proportion. It's a pattern, not enabling you. I think we send Dylan away now. I'm gone. With Dylan away, these customers offer their two cents. I can see why your son just chatted. I really do think I could win my, everything back this, this time and then some. Thank you very much. You're so welcome. You too. If I was your son, I wouldn't want to pull it out. Why not? Because I, I, I say it's the same as uh, um, addiction, addiction. But I don't think I'm in a situation where I'm hurting anyone. I mean, I, you're hurting your son. That's a good point. I, I never saw it that way. With Josh tapped out, we make our way in. John Quinones. Oh my God. Uh, why is it important to speak up? Because he's hurting himself. Addiction is real, and by giving him money, it's enabling him and it wouldn't help. Your message to people who are addicted to gambling? To seek help and try not to hurt your family members. As the day goes on, more customers try their luck at helping Josh. Only you know when you need help. I mean, I don't think I do, but my son thinks I do. If you gamble and now you have to borrow money from your kid, doesn't that mean that you need some help? Some customers go one step further. We have homes for uh, gambling addiction. Pointing him in the right direction. We need to be around people that are identified with this situation. But first, Josh must acknowledge the problem. It's up to the individual person, man. It was like taking a horse to a water. That don't mean the horse is going to drink the water. You know what I mean? We roll again. I feel like I'm feeding your addiction. Oh, my God. I am not some addict. Listen, I can't lend you the money. Okay, I can't. okay. That's it, we'll leave it at that. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Let's just pretend this conversation didn't happen, okay? Good. With dad away, this customer tries to reassure Dylan. Unfortunately, it's not the answers that they wanna hear. I've been in issues before, don't give up. I feel so bad saying no. You have to set boundaries, because if not, the cycle will continue and continue. If you lend him the money, he's gonna keep doing it and know that he has that fallback plan to continue to go back to. We're rolling one last time. You shouldn't be gambling in the first place. All right, but there's nothing to worry about. 
You know what? Let me just cool off. This man overhears the exchange and takes a different approach. Everybody who has a problem, they never think they have a problem. How do you get them to see the problem? Uh, just express how much you want to get help. You'll be there. I did. It was, I make sure. He takes the time to stress the importance of Dylan's support. Josh comes up to this man and says, Is everything all right here? Yeah? No, everything's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's How's it going, cool. Thomas? Man? Yeah. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yes. With Josh back at the table. Yeah. I mean, man, I yeah, yeah, sure. of course. Thomas Yates goes all in. I'm here to tell you. Us as humans, nobody's perfect. But the important part is that you are here presently now, which is son. There's a lot of people out there who don't have anybody in their corner. Listen, I don't really have a problem. I mean, I don't know what he told you, but I don't even consider myself a gambler. You see? Josh tries to pass on the lecture, but Thomas doubles down. <laughs> well, the steps to doing that is admission. And if your son has seen something that maybe you're not seeing, why don't you let him take the lead on this one? Before Josh answers, it's time to introduce ourselves. How you doing, man? Hey, how's it going, sir? <laughs> <laughs> you gave so much of your time. Tell right. us why. Because I had family who's dealt with gambling, and I helped them to become a different way in life. You wanted to help? Absolutely. Absolutely. And whatever I could have did to have guide them in the right direction, why not be the catalyst to help make that transformation go seamless? The first step on the road to recovery from addiction is acknowledging the problem. And as we learn today, the support of loved ones is paramount to completing that journey. Hi guys, John Quinones here. Thanks so much for checking out our YouTube channel. There's so much more to see. So click on this red button down here, the one that says subscribe, and you won't miss another what would you do moment. Enjoy.